This is my mother plant of variegated Cryptopetalum marinae. I purchased this plant almost two years ago. These two big pots are my babies propagated from this mother plant. It's very easy to grow and so the time has come for me to propagate some more. So in this video, I'd like to show you how I propagate and create a beautiful bowl of gorgeous variegated marinade that look almost good enough to eat. Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. I've taken some cuttings from my mother plant that's on the right and planted it on this pot on the left hand side here and this has now grown and has produced a lot of beautiful pink and yellow variegation and this one at the back here is also propagated from my mother plant here but these are grown from leaves and the difference is it hardly had any variegation. So there's probably a one, two, and that one there that's variegated. There's only three row sets that are showing variegation, but this one is just all variegated and are just so yummy and delicious. Look how gorgeous that is. So these are grown from cuttings and not leaves. They are just so beautiful that I would really like to grow and propagate some more. In order to be successful in growing these beautiful gorgeous babies, so one has to take some cuttings instead of growing them from leaves. You can still grow the leaves and they grow quite easily, but in this case we want some beautiful variegated ones, so we are going to take some cuttings. We'll start with this original mummy plant. So what I'm plan to do is remove all of these ones that are hanging down or dangling and also so as not to damage it I am using some egg trays so this is just generic egg trays this ones I've got I think 30 in this one so I'm using this one so I'm just gonna go around and cut it off and also once it's cut off there's still a chance of new plants sprouting like those ones inside there you can see those ones on the side so the minute it is cut off we'll have a chance of having more babies and also this one now if I stick it in those leaves there is at the back just gonna be in the way of planting it in the soil so I'm gonna remove them and put it in my container here for propagation and I'm gonna hold this at the back so I did not knock off some leaves and I'm just going to put it upside down. I'm just going to continue to do this until they are all well taken. The best time to do this as well is when the weather cools down or at the end of summer. So once the temperature goes down to 20 degrees or below 25 degrees, then that is already time to, to start taking some cuttings or doing some propagation. And on the top here, I'm going to be a little bit brutal. It might look ugly, but I'm going to end up with a very pretty ball later on. Okay. So that's it, that one now, I can leave that to grow some more. And if no babies pop out on the sides here after a couple of months, I will just cut them right back. But for now, I'll just leave it like this and I am going to proceed and work on this other one here, which is just so gorgeous. I've now taken as much cuttings as I can or mature plants and what I'm left now are these ones that's got yellow variegation mostly 
but there's still a couple of pink and slightly greenish variegation left on this plant now this one I would like to remove the stem but I would also like to have some new growth growing on that one so I have to wait to see if it will grow some more plants so I'm just gonna leave it as is like that for now and wait for it to grow so maybe in a few months time I might be able to harvest some from that but for the meantime it's all been chop chop nicely so I have to leave it alone now so this one's now I'll just wait for them I'll still leave them outside to grow I'm not gonna put this under the grow light because they can handle the frost quite easily and so the other one here so this one now there's a couple in there that's quite yellow variegation with a slight touch of pink on the tips of the plant so I'm going to leave that because or else that has a high chance of dying but the rest of these ones because they're all so long and leggy I am just going to chop them all off as well so as to make the plant grow more compact that's it that is now looking worse for wear so I'm just gonna leave it like that and let it grow so I've got a tray full of cuttings and they're still fairly fresh and I haven't let them dried up so straight off you can still see that they're fairly still green so it's just freshly cut so I haven't so again I'm gonna repeat myself I haven't let them dry up or anything like that but I'm already going to pot them up and I'm going to show you how I do that. So first I've got a bowl. I got this from Kmart for $2 and they are so pretty, the prints. Look at that gorgeous. Anyway, I drilled a hole and I'll put uh, a piece of lace curtain and I'll put some big rocks. This is just to put the curtains in place. So this soil mix, I'm using my master succulent soil mix here and it's fairly dry. So hang on, big piece of coconut coir. And I'm going to show you why I'm doing this. So I'm just going to put halfway. So that leaves plenty of room for my plants to be planted in there but this one now I'm gonna get this wet so the soil on the top will be dry and the bottom will be wet this is to encourage the roots to grow down deep and get into the bottom of the soil where the moisture is in but the top we want to keep it dry okay so let that soak in it's just straight water and so now I'm gonna put some dry soil on the top and what happens now in doing this I can plant straight in I don't have to wait for the cuttings to dry up or have a drying period Tap it to settle it down. Tap, 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 and tap, tap. Now, this is the fun part. So I just still want to make it fairly even because the sides. So we're going to start from the center. So we'll look for the biggest one. Oh, look at that beautiful. So we're just going to stick it in there. So I'm not putting any dressings or anything because I want to make a bowl of beautiful, very pretty. Some leaves will fall off like those ones and we'll take it off. Or I could also leave it there if I so choose this.
and I finished potting up my beautiful ball of variegated marine and I won't be watering this for another two to three weeks depending on how heavy the bowl gets or how light it gets and then by then I will be able to water it from the top. It's taken me two years but finally I now have a bowl of variegated marine and hopefully by next year I might be able to get or make another bowl of this delicious gorgeousness. Thank you so much for watching guys and hope I see you on the next video. This is just so yummy.